can't believe it's already fall and we still have wheat in the field. Man, are we behind. I gotta get to harvesting. Let's get to it. We are so far behind, I can't believe how far behind we are. We have to get to harvesting our wheat, and we have to get it harvesting quickly. So, if you don't know, we got rained out the other day. We gotta get back to the field. Problem is, I really need a grain cart so I can make better time harvesting this wheat. Uh, talked to Jake shortly, he said he may know a guy. So I'm going to go there and hopefully he can lead me into a direction of a grain cart and tractor. Pulling up to uh, Jake's house here. Looks like uh, they were doing a little uh, baling work there. Looks like they still have a few more bales. Hopefully he's here. No, he's a busy man so he may not be around. Hoping he is. I do see he got our trailer. Trailer's definitely over there. That's good. Glad he's getting good use out of it. And we got that extra uh, cash in our pocket. Hopefully we can uh, purchase a grain cart. Hey Jake, what's up? Uh, not much. I was just getting ready to get the semi in that trailer I just bought from you, prepped and everything. How's that trailer treating you? I haven't gotten to test it out yet, but it, it pulls just fine. The trailer itself works great. I haven't tested the tanks or anything yet. Alright, well, if it has any leaks or whatever, it's still insured, just letting you know. Alright, I appreciate it. What, uh, what brings you around? What do you need? Uh... I'm really hoping you could steer me in the direction of a grain cart. I'm really hurting right now. I can't get a hold of Buck to see if okay. he has anything down there. Do you know of anybody? Um, are you looking for a, like an auger wagon or a gravity wagon? What do you What do you think in here? Uh, auger wagon. Uh, okay. Uh, the Johnsons might have one that they're selling. They tend to trade off their equipment quite a bit. Uh, do you know where the Johnsons are? No. Where are they located at? Uh, give me uh, one second here. I'll I'll tr I'll pull it up on a map and try okay. to tell you if you want to take a look at this with me here. Okay. Okay. So, do you know it's kind of over? Um, when you're coming into Moore from the south side, okay, right, you're headed north into Moore, um, right before the turn that goes past the uh, the shop and the Moore Co-op and everything just south of there. There's a there's a house there, okay, right north of uh, it, it's right at the turn for the for the dealer. You know what I mean? Okay. When you go yeah. to take that dealer, it's that house there on the left. If you're headed north, they might have one. They might have one that would help you out. All right, so that's where the road does a little zigzag yeah. between the yep. intersection. All right. Yep, and Appreciate it's like, it. uh, I think there's a red barn or something. You'll, you'll be able to see it. It's right there on the corner. All right. Hey, uh, it does look like you could uh, probably even swath your yard here if you want to. Yeah, it's it's taller than my hay field. I, uh, <laughs> I've been meaning to mow it, but I've been so busy. I just haven't, I haven't seen the time. There's a couple round bales sitting here in your yard. Honestly? <laughs> I'm I'm about to get into some cattle business, so I, I might have to bail it. Um, I really could use some bales. All right, all right. Maybe next time I'll see some round bales in your front yard. Never know. <laughs> you just might. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the tip. Now let me yep. know if you have any issues with that trailer. All right. Um. Also, if you're if you're uh running any grain today, and you're needing to sell, um, if no one's at the co-op. If you're if you're headed to our co-op, I don't know where you're going to be selling at. But if you are, do head to our co-op and no one's there, just give me a call. All right, I will do that. We are definitely. I'm gonna definitely. I have wheat 
still in the field and oh, okay. should be count butting corn really right now. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a good time for both. Corn is sitting at twelve forty and wheat sitting at twelve oh two, so great prices Ooh. right now. All right, well, yep. I'm hoping my wheat isn't down in the field. Uh, by the way, I did look at that field you guys wanted to bail, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't think that's wor worthy of bailing <laughs> anymore. So No, probably with all this rain we've got, it's probably moldy, mucky, and practically gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I'm going to have a, a lot of extra straw if you want to come down to my field. If I ever get okay. it harvested, you guys can uh, get some round bales over there. That would be a huge help. That would be awesome. Because, yeah, we're trying to get this cattle thing going. And, uh, well, I've only got one cut in the hay off this, so we're not looking too good so far. <laughs> yep. You're, but your lawn is. You can get a cutting off yeah. or two oh. off that. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. See you later. All right. See ya. So Jake gave us a great tip of a uh, local grain cart hopefully he has a tractor too really looking for some uh, old iron uh, horsepower let's say so I'm hoping he has something I could uh, wheel and deal on never know we will see so I know I said we're getting a grain cart. The only issue is, is I don't have ability to even pull a grain cart. You know, I don't even own a tractor. So I called Buck and he said that Flat Valley should have something we can use. So I'm going to pull up here. The only issue is Buck is off again today. That guy is never at work. But he did say, talk to his boss, and he said, uh, Beans, we are such a loyal customer and everything that he will loan us this tractor, and then if we like it, we can talk about purchase price. This is like the crail of all tractors of John Deere. The 4960. This was the last before basically the plastic. At least in my opinion. So, this is a good old iron John Deere tractor. So, I have been looking for one of these for a little while. So, they got one on the lot. And I think I am going to take them up on their deal. So... We need a tractor, and this is probably perfect. The only issue is, is uh, we need to purchase a grain cart too. So, think we will go get the keys and get the paper sign for this uh, demo on this tractor, and uh, go get a grain cart. All right. So I had to talk to Buck's boss, and boy, let me tell you. I sure wish Buck wouldn't take so much time off, but we ended up getting that demo sealed for that 4960. Pretty excited about having that old iron good John Deere on the farm. So now we just have to get us a grain cart. So let's pull up the map here. I think, oh, I think I see it straight ahead. So. I wonder if they ever have uh, people blowing through this stop sign and uh, going in their front porch. So let's see if we can seal the deal on this grain cart. Kind of a creepy house. Alright, so we just got the deal signed. So this is uh, a little bit used. I really like the floater tires on this uh, Kinsey. 1051 has LSW floater tires on it has a uh, speed uh, I think this is a 14 inch I might be wrong somebody will correct me auger might be a 12 inch not positive but 
it is definitely a fast unload Kinsey. Uh, it's just a single auger, so you don't have the auger going across, so you have less uh, wear and tear on parts. But definitely dig in the floater tires on it. It'll go with our uh, big combine floaters. But uh, now we just have to get our loaner. So I'm gonna run over to Platte Valley again, grab the the our new demo tractor, and uh, hook this up. And we gotta get the combine in because we are behind. All right, so we're just pulling back over here. Try to stay on the road, hopefully. Pick up our 4960. We're gonna have to ask for a uh, basically ride back to to get our truck, though. Let's see if this old girl starts up. First try. Oh yeah. So got GPS in here and everything. Air works. Looks like it's a power shift. Liking it. Has uh, three hydraulics. Other than the cab being kind of small, this is a good old tractor in my book. Oh man, transmission just running smooth. So we just got our grain cart, and I think I'm gonna pull over here to Casey's and get me a uh, coffee. Just because, why not? We're right here. Shut this off. Shut the blinkers off. All right. Run in here. We'll probably get a donut too. I know it's bad for us. Morning's so much better when you got a cup of coffee. So let's get to farming. All right, pulling out here. It's always good to be in a farming community because nobody thinks it's weird driving a tractor to a uh, gas station. It's a nice thing about living in the country in a farming community. All right, let's finally get to the field, get some work done. Man, this tractor kind of looks small on this grain cart, doesn't it? Hopefully it doesn't have any issues pulling it. But Buck said it was uh, chip powered, so sounds like it's recently been tuned up. So we should be have plenty of horse, but we do have a Kinsey 1051 so that's basically the same thing as a semi trailer should hold about uh, just over a thousand bushels that's why I wanted the big floater tires on it man I wouldn't mind stopping at the diner and getting us some uh, bacon and eggs but we are so far behind we need to get to work Guys, got to look at these pumpkins. I mean, jeez. I'm hoping you take them to the fair. They're ginormous. So the good thing is, is even though this had some hard rain on it, we still don't have any down wheat. So we're still getting really high bushels per acre. We're getting uh, about 187. So. We are doing good in that compartment, at least. Man! The combine is a beast in the field. Listen to it purr! Mm. Love the flags on the back of that combine. Good touch, if you ask me. So, got the hired man running the combine for now. And we are going to run grain cart and the trucks back and forth, trying to keep up with them. Hopefully we can. Man, Jake and Austin sure are going to like this. Uh, I'm getting a lot of volume of straw. So I think I'll let them bail what they want, just because they helped me out so much. But then I will bail the rest myself. Huh, I wonder why the hired hand is leaving this strip here. 
I'm gonna have to counsel him on this. So we got another load unloading over here into our new grain cart. Man, are we getting a lot of bushels. What a lot of bushels. Get all this put away here. Gonna have to call Jake in a little while and find out if we can uh, sell this at the uh, co-op. Just falling right behind the combine here as it's cutting a new pass. So we got about just under half full of this grain cart. So about 454 bushels. So I am loving this 4960. Hopefully we can get a little bit cheaper than 60k for this tractor but we have to seal this deal that's for sure it's just pulling this grain cart with ease so that's a big girl back there so easily pulling that big grain cart so I think it'll work nicely on the farm we're definitely gonna have to use it for multiple tasks This is basically our second piece of equipment on the farm. After our beast of a combine up there, and a the header. Don't know if you can really consider we already bought this or not. I don't think we uh, technically, we don't own it, but to me basically we own it because I'm sold on it. Oh man, so the combine looks like it's flashing up there. So I'm hoping it can uh, go up there and turn around. So that way we can unload without cutting over to the side, but we will have to see. Doesn't look like it has too much further. Come on, you can do it. Oh man, just filled up. Well, the combine's uh, turning around here. Looks like somebody drove through my field. That's just disrespectful. I bet it was that Bustin, no, Aston dude. Maybe it was a rental. These look like rental tracks here. Just took another load from B-Spine and man are we full. We have over a thousand bushels in this grain cart. Oh man, is this gonna make it up the hill? Whew. Probably shouldn't be running over these uh, wind rows. Uh, Jake and uh, Austin probably won't like that, but oh well. Oh, are you gonna do it? Yeah, that's John Deere power for you guys. So we'll undo the spout there. Wanna fill up the front truck first. bit closer there there we go oh man this grain cart really unfills quick and the trucks full already back up very carefully we are close to highline poles right 
go. There we go. Unload this into the cart there. Hopefully it'll take the whole load. That is already full. Wow. We're headed down the road here. Got a full load headed to the co-op. Man, are we getting a lot of bushels for this field. Man, are we gonna freaking pay for a farm just on this field. Uh-oh. Alright, we're not speeding yet. That's good. Gonna have a lot of straw off that field, too. Cow. We're headed down here. Oh, a few tractors. Oh man, what the heck is going on here? Oh man, I hope everyone's alright up here. Alright, so I better ask the police officer and make sure everyone's alright. Alright, so it appears everyone's alright. He said we can't get by, beans. uh, we just, he wants us to go very slowly. He's gonna guide us by. Looks like, uh, Grant's tractor's up there. I don't know what he's doing, but it looks like Jake, I was told no one was hurt, so I'm glad to hear that. But, uh, appears that's Jake's truck. Got some grain on the ground. I'm gonna have to give him a call or go see him in the hospital wherever he's at. Make sure everything's alright. So we're gonna cross the train tracks here. This is awful sketchy area. These trains come out of nowhere. Alright, I think that's like the first time I've passed that without scaring uh, you know what out of me. Get up here. So Jake said it's all right to uh, unload here. I'm getting high price here. I'll show you on my phone. Twelve dollars a bushel. So that's way higher than everything else right now. All right. So we made about seventeen thousand dollars off that. So let's go get back. Grain prices are good, but you're not going to break the bank with uh, wheat, that's for sure. Alright, so now we're taking our beautiful Kenworth for a whole load. Make sure we, uh, don't know if they got this road cleared off yet. Might have to, uh, ask the police officer if we can get by again, but we will see. Oh, nope. It's not cleared off. We better go around. Alright, so we had to take country roads around uh, where uh, Jake tipped over his trailer. So I did get word Jake is alright. So I asked him. Right now he has a, uh, a contractor coming out with a payloader, I believe, to uh, go tip that up. We went around accident over there again we're gonna pull back so we've already taken uh, four loads and I believe the top kick up there is already full again so we're definitely filling up these trailers quick all right so usually it works better if I just take two full loads of the harvester so I got 900 bushels so it, usually with this uh, 4960 and everything it handles it better if I don't put the last 150 in there gonna pull it over here careful of the high line pulls empty up into the trailer emptying up into the trailer 
should take about the whole load. Really enjoying this grain cart. Really helps on compaction. That's for sure. Alright, so we'll fold up before we drive anywhere so we don't hit the highline pole. Go catch the combine again. Looks like he's just about full already. Gotten a lot of harvest done. Combine's a beast. So we're harvesting along here. We got a lot done. You can see I think we are over 50% done with this gigantic field. Going along good here. Trying to make it to the end. We'll probably unload. I see the grain cart is down there. Everything is going pretty good. Having no major issues so far. You can see we're still making a ton per acre there. Going along here. Making really good. Just going along. Oh, shoot! Oh, man! Oh, I just... Oh, man, I jammed a tree into my combine. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.